Hey, what's up, y'all? This your boy XV coming through with another episode of the X Vision Files, and in this one, this is a little, this is a little fun one right here. I would say more of the, more on the fun side, <laughs> and kind of funny. But um, this uh, this video right here is about making a very simple mouse trap. You know, there's various ways you can make mouse traps. Well, we hope that we don't have to do these because we don't want to live in environments where it's rodents everywhere. But we do have people that live in houses and apartments that do have rodents. So with that being said, this this video right here should be, you know, edifying to you. You know, it's a simple way to make a mouse trap. You know, it costs really nothing basically to make this mouse trap. And it's another video where um a guy made made a mouse trap out of a bucket and he i'm talking about, i don't know if he was i don't know where he was at i don't know if he was in the subway of new york or whatever but it was like a thousand rats where he was at and it, it felt that bucket up because he had like a bucket trap and it felt it up and it was like over a hundred rats in that bucket but anyway man without further ado man let's check this video out Okay, y'all seen the materials? Let me go back so y'all can see the materials he used so y'all can make it. You see, he took it, he had a uh, a container that had muffins in it. <laughs> you feel me? So, he had a container with muffins in it. This had muffins in it. But yeah, it's a container, a little cheap container you can get out of, the, you know, um, when you go to the grocery store and you go to the bakery section, they have cookies, you know, muffins and all types of stuff like that. You can get this case from there. And he has two rubber bands, a stick, and three peanuts. So this is it right here to make a simple um, you know, mouse trap. My thing is, my thing is, why he don't just leave it on the bottom? It'll be more easier for the for the mouse to get it, you know. But I guess it's I get because if the if the, if the mouse pull it from up under the stick, the stick gonna fall. You feel what I'm saying? So it, I don't think you have to turn it upside down like that for it to be up top. I think you could have it on the bottom too. You feel what I'm saying? Maybe he got a reason for the for him wanting the peanut to be up top. But let's continue. And another thing, it's crazy how something so simple like this we don't think about. We'll go and get rat poison and, and you know, little made, I mean, no, like mouse traps that's already in the store. And we could just simply make it out, you know, make a mouse trap ourselves just by these simple materials, you know? So it, it, it's just real funny how I'm looking at this and I'm like, wow, damn, how come I ain't thought about nothing like this back in the days? Because when I stayed. Back in back in the days, man, when I stayed with my grandma, she had rats in her house, and and the way we used to, the way I used to do it is every time I used to go in the kitchen, 
and I turn the light on, I see about two rats, you know, run to these specific areas. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'd probably be like a little slip behind the, the oven, and it'd be a little hole over there in the wall right there, and then I see the rats always escaping like that. You feel me? So what I used to do is I used to case the joint. I used to case it. I, I used to go in there like three, four times just to see where the rats going to run at. And then what I do is I keep the lights on and while they hitting, I, I get like a, a coffee mug. I would get um, newspaper or something like that. And I would place it right by the holes. Right. And I practice like soon I walk in the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? Like move the, 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 the coffee cup to cover the hole, put the newspaper and stuff the hole. You know what I'm saying? So what I did was I did that. And then what I do is I go out the kitchen and then I'll run back in the car, wait like probably like 15 minutes and I'll be listening out and I'll be hearing a little rattling in the kitchen. I'll be like, okay, they out. What I used to do was I used to, I don't turn on the light now. I don't just run back in there and turn the light on. I run in there in the dark, like why it's still dark in there. I run in there in the dark and I cover the holes quick. Why it's still dark in there. Man, how about that shit work, bruh? Like when I did that and I turned the light on and then I had like a rolled up, magazine like a real i had like two magazines rolled up with like the rubber bands around it to hold it to hold it together and that was my and that was my beating you know that, that's what i used to beat the rats with man i ran in there in the dark i covered the holes i turned that light on oh it was on and popping he was he tried to run back to the hole but he, he didn't know that i covered it while it was still dark so he looking confused now he's like oh shit man i beat the hell out that rat <laughs> but let's continue i just wanted to throw that little story in there The mouse is very smart. It, it's like it knows it's something's up. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's keep going in and out. This is his eighth appearance in that goddamn container. So it knows something. And you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's, it's very smart. Like As I'm observing this, that rat is smart. It's not no dumb rat because a dumb rat would have just went straight for it. It wouldn't even worry about what, what's around him or nothing. But it keeps checking the surroundings and stuff. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Pay attention.
The, the mouse is like, see the, see, the mouse didn't spot the peanut yet. He looking for it because he's smelling around. He like, I smell that peanut, but I can't find it. Where is it? He said, but I smell it, though. It's somewhere in there. Look what he just did. Look what he did. When he looked up and spotted the peanut, he jumped out of the container and he went around trying to see if he can go on the other side or if he could jump up at the top and grab it. But he noticed he can't get it on the top because it's, it's inside the container. This is crazy, man. This rat is fucking smart. <laughs> you see that? See now, so now he, so now he found the peanut. So okay, he's like, okay, good. I know. I, he like, good. I know I'm not crazy. I know it was a peanut in there somewhere. So now he's trying to figure out how to how to get that peanut right there, because it's like he still know. Like he like, wait a minute. Like this container ain't right. Like like he like, man, this this ain't right. It's like he he's hungry, but then he's cautious. He's cautious. You feel me? So it's like, damn. How can I get this peanut? <laughs> See, <laughs> he know what time it is. He's nervous. <laughs> he know what time it is. So he touched it, he jumped out because he know maybe if I move this peanut, I'm gonna be trapped. But let's continue. You notice that he went to the other side and to, to see if it's open. He stuck his head up, like, okay, it's open. Everything is still open. He gonna keep checking if the damn container's still open before he grabbed that peanut. You see, you see what he just did? You see what he just did right there? Soon he tried, like soon he nibbled at the peanut, he dropped down and looked and looked to see if the container was still open. He know what time it is. That rat is not stupid, man. <laughs> that mouse is not stupid. But in order for him to get that peanut, he is gonna trap himself. So there's no way in hell he gonna be able to get that peanut and get up out of there. It's either you gonna just leave that peanut alone and get up out of there, or you will be trapped if you get that peanut. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Stupid. Every time that container move, he looked down like, hold on, wait a minute. This container look like it's it's about they about to close on me. But let's let, let's let's continue.
And there y'all have it, man. The simplest mouse trap that could be ever be made. Very, very simple. But anyway, man, I just wanted to, you know, bring this video to y'all attention. I ran across it. I was like, hey, this is a little fun video for me to react to. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I am into arts, arts and crafts. I do know how to craft. So that's why I was like, you know, this is an interesting video to cover. But that's it for this one, y'all. This your boy XV. Came through with another episode of the X-Vision Files. And y'all stay blessed, man. More content coming through.